What is up, you filthy motherfuckers? What's good, Trix? So, I've had a bunch of you asking me, so I figured I'd do it. And I'm going to show you how to switch up this mod loader that I just put together for you guys. And kind of make it your own. You know, in case you want to switch out any menus, if you've got a couple paid menus, the whole gamut. And, uh... I'm not going to get into making an entire one and switching the e-boot and all that shit yet. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to show you how to switch the pictures, um, how to make an animated video clip like I have, and I'll show you how to extract the e-boot to an e-boot elf and how to edit that and change the name on the shit. So, let's get started. This is, this is going to be really quick, and we're going to do it on the PS3. So... As you know, we've got the, uh, throw that pussy. Let's open this motherfucker up. So, when we get in it, I'm going to show you. And this is after you have the mod loader installed. Again, you've seen it. I've got the games. So forth on. So, let's kind of, uh, we're going to use GTA as an example. So, if you open GTA... You see, I've got the Independence, Paradise, the Power, the Sulfity, okay? And if we back out of there, it's the same thing up in the e-boots. So, basically, and I know most of you that know how to install menus already know this shit. So, I'm covering this for the noobs that have no fucking clue. Uh, basically, when you're installing an SPRX, you, you have the two files. You have to install the e-boot, and you have to install the SPRX. SPRX goes in the TMP folder... And the eBoot goes in the corresponding game folder, which I'm going to show you. And uh, again, it, there's, there's one-offs. If it's a paid menu, you'll have a key. You may have additional folders that go in the TMP folder. But we're going to get into all that. So let me back the fuck up out of here. And we're going to go down. Oh, sorry. Come on, dude. We're going to exit the fuck out of here. And we're going to get over to the motherfucking PS3 Multi-Man. Okay. So, you know that. Uh, we're going to go right to Multi-Man. And we're going to open this bitch up. So, the first thing you're going to want... Is and you can do this by FileZilla as well, um, but for this video, I'm basically I'm gonna do this on the PS3. So in my PS3 right now, I have my thumb drive, which has a shitload of mod menus on, and I'm just gonna go through and we're gonna switch one mod menu and and uh, and we'll show you how it looks on the loader. So you want to scroll all the way to the left to the file manager. I'm gonna open that. We're gonna go up to the PS3 root in the top left. Open that. And I kind of showed this in the previous video, but you're going to go to HDD0. Now, what we want to do, and, and again, to touch back, when you're installing menus, here's the TMP right on the HDD0. And you'll see I've got multiple menus in here. Um, I have Extortion, GTA, there's my key. So that's a situation where something other than the SPRX goes in there. Um, with the, uh, Cracked Reflex, there's also a Cracks folder. So, uh, I'm sorry, that was with Paradise, or, or Paradox, I should say. But, anyways, you want to go to the lowercase game folder. Now, again, this is generally where you'll install your eBoot, and if you are installing script mods on GTA, you will install them. You will go to the corresponding game, and you will open the U.S. directory, and you'll see I've got the two mod, modded eBoot net update and the originals. So let's back up a little bit. Once you go into HDD0, let's start from scratch. You're going to go to your lowercase game. And let's go to the mod loader, which is going to be right here. It says Beast Mods. So then you want to go to the US directory. And you want to go to Apps. So here is basically the whole layout of the menu, of the loader. And I put everything in here. So again, if you open the GTA menu, you will see all the menus are in here. So if you want to kind of tweak this to make it fit your needs, like let's say you had some Jasus, 
extortion, uh, LTS, any variants of paid menus, or you just wanted to switch the layout of menus available, that would be fine. Um, now, first of all, there's a file format. They must say all dash dex dash, um, or you can put all dash all dash, um, which will work for sex and dex. But again, this, this one is basically dex only, although I know there are a few creepers in here. So let's say we wanted to change this to extortion, okay? So we want to go to GTA, and I could go right here, go to rename, and we're going to back up, and I'm going to name that to extortion. Boom. So now I want to go into extortion, and again, here is the path. You cannot fuck with that. That's going to put the SPRX or any other files you put in here in the TMP folder. So if I open that up, there is... I forgot what fucking menu I use. So we're going to move that to the side. I am going to open my USB. And you'll see I have a whole bunch of shit on here. So I am going to go to extortion. And I am going to get my key and the SPRX. I am going to copy it and I am going to drop it into this folder. So, boom, that easy. Now that is extortion and that is my key. So now I need to, and normally you would go back and go into the bless, go down to, oh, where the hell is GTA? My bad, my bad, let me get up here. Go into bless. And again, this directory needs to be the same. So again, we're really just renaming it. But in this case with GTA, this eBoot is a debug and it works with all the menus. And this is my script loader. So the only difference with this eBoot is no matter what SPRX you are using, you must rename it to capital GTA.SPRX. So that's really it. You could also right-click, copy, make another folder, and uh, basically put whatever you want. But you could do the same thing in any of this shit. You can go into any, if you had paid menus, go in, rename it, so forth, so on. So let's take a look at how this looks now. We're going to go back. We're going to exit out of here. <laughs> and now we are going to open up the mod loader. So now, if I go down to GTA mod menus, you will see I now have extortion. So, again, just a short little quick tut on this. If you want to, uh, you know, just consider it like a menu base here. You can go in, you can switch out the menus, you can change the name. Um, I would not add any extra menus um, unless you're going to delete menus. Uh, only because there is limited space on here and shit will stop showing up. So, for instance, if you wanted to add you know, like two or three more GTA menus, uh, that's fine. But you want to go in and maybe you don't play MW2, delete two or three of them. Just make sure you remove the amount that you want to put in because there's limited space and they will not show up, okay? So it's real simple. Rename the folder. You're kind of cheating. Instead of copying and then going in and renaming all this shit, you just... I wanted to show you the ability that you could change the name on the menu, put the menu you want to use in there, just leave the paths alone. You can't fuck with that. Just switch out the e-boots, whatever. So last piece I want to show you, and I want to get back up in here. Well, let's exit back. I should have showed you this while I had the fucking thing open, so that's my bad. Give me one motherfucking second here.
God damn it. I fucking opened it again. Hang on one second. Let me pause this. Okay. We are back. Now, I do want to show you something. Because, like some Jesus, uh, you have to fuck with the boot plug-in right here. Now, again, if you go into the HDD0, it says boot plug-in. So what you'd want to do, if you're going to do some Jesus, you'd have to do something a little extra. Um, you'd have to go up, go to the game folder, go to Beast Mods, in the mod loader, US directory, apps, and then you could go in a GTA menu, and then literally I would copy, and then confirm. God damn it! Whoa, hang on. Um, if you were going to use some Jesus, you would have to go here, rename, and you would have to delete the TMP like this right so then what's going to happen is it's going to drop that boot plugin into the hdd0 so if i go back i would go rename and this is where i would put whoop come on bitch boot and then you would drop the boot plug in in there and go in there and it would go in there so you'd have to actually install three things for Simjasis if you wanted to put that menu on here but I know some of you use it and I just wanted to give you that heads up so and then anything else that went in the TMP you would want to switch but basically like I said if you're going to add menus if you wanted to add more of these, fine. Hit circle, hit copy, and then create, and then you could call it whatever you want. So once you copied that and pasted it, remember, you've got to have these formats in the beginning. The all dash, all dex, all dash, dex dash, and the paths, well, let me take one I haven't fucked with. The paths need to remain the same. Do not fuck with them or will not put them where they want to go. But again, if you want to, it, you know, look at what you play and uh, get rid of some menus you don't use. Uh, you can completely modify this motherfucker to how you like it. And also, when you go in, if you want to change the artwork, um, well, now the PAM is the animated video, um, but there is my uh screen loader and there is is the mod loader picture and i made all these on on uh, adobe photoshop and if you go into the us directory and go into data and images this is the background whoop oh, sorry so i'll show you how to edit i'm going to take you over to the computer real quick and i'll show you this so let me pause this motherfucker real quick. Okay, so here we are in the computer. This is basically the same thing. This is where I had my folder when I was putting all this shit together. So in order to actually do this, um, the picture has to be named and it's got to be a PNG. So if you right click, on, well, you don't even have to do that, but if you right click, let's open this up. This is the initial that you got to have in there. And you want to look at the sizes on these because this one, for instance, has to be 320 by 176. The other pick, which you can go down here, we'll go to properties, motherfucker, is also a PNG. And if you go up to details, this is 1920 by 1080, and this is the big motherfucker in the background. So, this one right here, the pick one, is going to be the menu that displays once you open it, where you can see all the e-boots and the menus, if you want to change the background. The icon 
is what displays on your XMB when you're just hovering over the menu. And then if you go into the US directory and you go to data and you go to images, now there's four different formats here, but if you go into the background, uh, that is where, I, I'm sorry, that's where you're going to, this is what displays right here when you open the menu, okay? Got that all fucked up on you. So if you want to change the lay, layout in the menu, you want to change the background in that corresponding folder. And you could do that, uh, you know, copy it to your thumb drive and move it over. The pick, this is the one that shows up when you load the menu. Or, I'm sorry, when you're hovering over in the big background. So they're all there. They're 1920. Look at the formats. Again, I have, and I'll show you, I use an older version of Adobe. So you see, I have Photoshop open. And this is where I made this. So basically, you have all your tools over there. Um, if you know how to do this, cool. Um, I'm even thinking of seeing who wants personal fucking mod loaders made for a motherfucker. But yeah, I did all this. I embossed it. I set all the drop, uh, drop shadow, all that shit on there. And then I saved it. And then when you go to save, and you got to flatten it, this might be for a whole nother fucking video. But when you go to save, you definitely want to go down here in the drop down. Because you could save as a JPEG, all kinds of file formats. But you're going to save it as a PNG folder. And then, like I said, look in the folder and you want to name, you can play with this, man. Look at what they're named. Look at all that bullshit. And then you can change it accordingly. Okay? So having said that, you trick motherfuckers. Uh, I know a couple of you has, have asked for a complete tutorial on how to make one. And, and I'll do one eventually. But I, honestly, this is a quick way where you can take the one I got and you could change the pictures to the way you want, and you could flop out the mod menus the way you want, and you really got your own shit. So, outside of that, I am out, you trick motherfuckers.